Hi everyone, I'm Jared Balfour for HD Rams, and today we're in Toronto, Ontario for the 2019 Canadian International Auto Show. Now, while the 2019 Ram Heavy Duties were debuted in Detroit last month, this is the first time they've been shown north of the border. 1,000 pound-feet of torque, 35,100 pounds of towing, and 7,680 pounds of payload. This is the biggest car show in Canada, and what better place for us to show you the biggest trucks in the Ram This line. is the new 2019 Ram Heavy Duty. Now for the 2019 Ram Heavy Duties, they're all new from the A-pillars forward, new sheet metal. This truck has got a sport package on it, it's a Laramie. Now what that gives you is a monochromatic grill, monochromatic bumpers. You still keep the chrome grill accents, but there will be a night edition package coming out later that'll delete all the chrome with black. You've got new headlamps available in three different styles, halogen, LED, and full LED with adaptive front lighting system, which allows beams to turn up to 15 degrees in the expected direction of travel. Also newly designed is the front bumper with LED fog lights and trims with LED lighting. You got your tow hooks and they've smartly hidden the proximity sensors in the grill of the bumper as well as the trim for the fog lights. Also new for the 2019 Ram Heavy Duties is a new style towing mirror. Now these are part of the towing technology group. They include a 360 degree camera view to provide you camera views down the sides of your trailer. They still do fold up as previous tow mirrors do. And you also have a spotlight system here to help you hooking up your trailer to shine light backwards. These mirrors also do fold in and forward as well. And they have the little mark there for your blind spot monitoring system as well. For 2019, the Ram Heavy Duty has three engine options. The 6.4 liter Hemi V8 replaces the 5.7 liter Hemi as the base engine and delivers 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. Also new for 2019 is the ZF 8-speed automatic on 6.4 liter equipped trucks. Also available is a revised Cummins inline 6 turbo diesel that puts out 370 horsepower and 850 pound-feet of torque. The standard output Cummins is still backed by the 68 RFE 6-speed automatic that has had extensive upgrades for 2019. Also available on 3500 models only is the high output version of the Cummins turbo diesel that puts out 400 horsepower and a segment first 1000 pound feet of torque. As before the HO Cummins is backed by a Eisen 6 speed automatic that has been refined for 2019 with a new transmission controller that will further refine shifts. Now coming along to the interior, the 2019 Ram Heavy Duties inherit a lot of the interior from the 2019 Ram 1500. Now that means you get an all new dashboard along with the popular 12 inch Uconnect screen. You get an excellent gauge cluster, you get new steering wheel, well, while it uses the old buttons, you do now get adaptive cruise control available on the heavy duties. All the materials are super high quality. Now this truck is a Longhorn model and it does have the cattle tan and black interior, which I think is the best looking interior you can get in a pickup right now. Now, one thing that a lot of people were saying when the heavy duty was revealed is that they thought it was gonna feel dated because it kept the fourth generation cab. Well, as an owner of a 2016 Ram 1500, I can tell you that this feels completely different inside and a lot closer to a 2019 1500 than it does to an older heavy duty. Now you do get the all new overhead console from the 2019 Ram 1500 and you don't get the panoramic sunroof of the 1500, all part of using the old cab. But otherwise, this feels completely new inside. You've got these all new dash with high quality leather. You've got nice real wood accents. You've got this nice upper glove box door, as well as a large lower glove box. You've got the 12 inch Uconnect screen. And down here, you do have two more USB and two more USB-C ports. You've got your CD player, 
you've got your wireless phone charger and you do have the new innovative sliding console with multiple configurations you also have a lot of storage under the armrest this is the smaller tray with another usb and underneath here you've got a large deep storage that you can fold this forward put a ton of stuff down here or you can even fold it back ram says it will hold up to a 15 inch laptop Now coming along to the back of the cab, at the back of the new center console, you've got two USBs and two USB-C ports. You also have the controls for your heated seats and cooled seats if equipped. There's also a 400 watt AC power outlet. Now while the cab is the same as the outgoing heavy duties, you do still have the hump and the load floor here. One of the things with that, a lot of people like the storage of a flat load floor. But Ram's got a really good system that, as far as underseat storage, I actually prefer on the 4th gen cab to the 5th gen cab. Now this truck does have the subwoofer in the back, so you do lose the storage here. But on the other side, you've got nice deep bins that get covered to store your items. And you also have the flip out flat floored floor to give you a flat floor anyways. So it's uh, not an elegant solution, but it's a solution that works. Now the box is also the same as the outgoing truck, so which means you get the same Ram box style, but Ram was listening to their customers and they've introduced a 115 volt, 400 watt power supply, easily accessible inside of the Ram box. You also have LED lighting on the outside to help you see things at night. Now around the back of the truck, you've got the new industrialized Ram logo. You've got a newly skinned tailgate that matches up with the fifth generation tailgate style. You also get an electronic release for the tailgate handle as opposed to the mechanical one. You get new badging. You also get this new bumper with the lower step and integrated proximity sensors along the bottom of the bumper, which helps hide them nicely as well as newly designed taillights with integrated blind spot monitoring if equipped. The power wagon also returns for 2019, still powered by the 6.4 liter Hemi V8, but gains the 8-speed automatic, which should help with responsiveness, fuel economy, as well as drivability. The power wagon gets an aggressive front end with a unique grille, black textured plastic, as well as a black powder coated bumper. Also new for 2019 with the power wagon, is this worn wrench you now using a synthetic winch cable. The power wagon also gets its own unique interior with a power wagon text on the gauge cluster, unique font for the gauges, a power wagon specific color scheme, and a floor shifter to operate the four wheel drive transfer case. Grouped around the rotary shifter are buttons to lock the front or front and rear axles, hill de descent control, as well as a button to unlock the front sway bar. Now the exterior of the power wagon gets a more aggressive look for 2019. The same stripe package is available and it continues to come with the 33 inch Goodyear Duratrac tires. The power wagon gets new fender flares unique to the power wagon and comes with blacked out accents including black badging. This is the 2019 Ram 2500 Laramie Longhorn. As with the 1500s, the Laramie Longhorn and the limited models get unique front headlights, 
with adaptive front lighting that turns up to 15 degrees of expected travel. These also do get projector LED headlamps as opposed to ref reflector LED headlamps in other trim levels. Another nice thing with the Longhorn is you get this nice 3D look to the front grille. Sitting at the top of the food chain with the Limited, the Longhorn has a very premium look. Extensive use of chrome and quality materials give the truck a very high-end feel. The Longhorn gets new wheels for 2019 that in my opinion look great and the front end has a mean aggressive look with its large 3D grille. I am a huge fan of the black cattle tan interior available in the Longhorn models. The expressive use of color and high quality materials such as reclaimed barn wood and high quality leather makes this easily the best interior in the segment. Now at the top of the consumer grade, meaning prior to chassis cab Ram trucks, is the 3500 Mega Cab Dually Cummins. Now this truck is the limited, it does have the razor wire grille with the dual nostrils and it does share those LED adaptive front headlights with the Longhorn trim that we just showed you. Now the back seat of this limited Mega Cab is a very nice place to spend time. You've got a ton of leg room as well as a reclining rear seat. that slides back and forth as well. Now, now what the Mega Cab does get that the other trucks do not get such as a crew cab is a reclining rear seat. Behind that seat you've also got about 12 inches of storage along with some in four bins. It's a very nice solution, make an excellent truck for a long haul. We absolutely love the interior of this limited mega cab. There's tons of room, tons of storage space, nothing but high quality wood, leather and metals everywhere that you look and touch. It's a very, very comfortable place to be. And this would be an awesome, awesome road trip vehicle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider giving it a like, subscribing, hitting that notification bell as we're going to be getting hands on with the 2019 Ram Heavy Duties later this week and we're going to be able to tell you all about how they drive at the end of the month. Thanks for stopping by, take care, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.